And here the arm booth. Uh, so who are you? So I'm Michael McGee. I'm the tech lead of developer relations, and I'm just here to show you some demonstrations. So this so, is uh, the the arm Mali area. Yes. Yeah, so we're showing here our capabilities of our uh, graphics processing units. So this demonstration here has a Mali T760 MP8 implementation, and what I'm about to launch here, uh, this is Android 5 running in a 64-bit uh, uh, environment, and uh, we are showing here an. Uh, demonstration using the Epic Unreal Engine in native 64-bit application. So I can walk around for example to prove that it's fully interactive. So the 64-bit the and the GPUs are on the 64-bit uh, ARM processor just accelerates everything? Uh, yes, so we're seeing um, uh, various different uh, use cases for 64-bit, including gaming. Uh, and what we're showing here is this is just basically a straight port of the uh, engine to run on 64-bit. Uh, but there's plenty of optimization left to uh, do to fully utilize the 64-bit uh, capabilities. What kind of optimizations are still uh, in the works? So uh, from the CPU side, we can take uh, better use of the Neon uh, generation uh, coprocessor as well as um, increased registers, uh, things like that. On the GPU side, we've implemented ASTC textures for all of the texturing you can see as well as PLS, Pixel Local Storage, which uh, basically gives you uh, better um, capabilities, um, put certain post-processing steps, you can now utilize the on-chip memory uh, to accelerate that. Uh, so in this instance, you can see the bloom and the particle effects are um, accelerated with the use of PLS. Cool. And uh, you have uh, another demo right here? Yes, this uh, demonstration we actually showed last year. This is uh, a Pipo P4 with Rockchip 3288. Exactly, so this again is a T760 but in an MP4 configuration. And we're basically showing um, uh, the graphical richness that um, a mid range type of device like this is capable of doing. Uh, this demonstration is actually also using the Enlighten uh, engine. Uh, so this is real time global illumination uh, from Geomerics. Um, which you can see in um, uh, several popular titles as well. Cool. And uh, this is a different use of the GPU right here, right? Yes, exactly. So yeah. not only do our GPUs uh, just do graphics, you can also run general processing uh, compute activities on them as well. So, for example, we have some uh, camera uh, algorithms running here. So in this instance, we are showing um, image stabilization. So if I switch the camera to the other side. Uh, let's get something interesting. For example, this. Yeah. On the left, you can see the um, image preview after image stabilization, whereas on the right is the raw camera feed. So this uh, example of image stabilization, you don't need dedicated hardware for. You can run it on the GPU itself. Nice. Is this uh, is this shipping or is this something that's kind of like a demo of the future of uh, uh, optimization? So actually, we have a production device with the exact same chipset in this one here. So this is the Lenovo Note 8. Uh, in this particular demonstration, we're showing also low-level lighting. So uh, if you can look in the camera here, uh, on the left is the low-level lighting algorithm, yeah. lighting up the dark scene. On the right is the original um, camera footage and you can see a distinct difference and clarity in the picture. Nice. So you are improving a bunch of stuff with imaging mm -hmm. using the GPU. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And it's not just uh, imaging that you, you can apply uh, general purpose computing capabilities to. Uh, you can do it with video, for example, uh, and a whole host of different applications. Nice. So this is a kind of like GPU compute for imaging? Yes, exactly. Yeah? All right. So uh, shipping the latest uh, uh, this GPU showcase and uh, Bigelow and the T760 GPU.